let's get on board uh, um, Dr. Pavan Goenka, uh, who's now joining in on the phone line. Dr. Goenka, many thanks for speaking to us at ET Now. Let me first begin by asking you, now this uh, notification has come in from the government. The government is definitely looking at, uh, uh, you know, figuring out ways as to how to really control air pollution. But how does life really change for automakers? Uh, I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. I'm not able to fully uh, clearly hear you. Can you repeat the question, please? I'm saying, Mr. Goenka, thanks for taking out your time. Post this notification. How does life really change for automakers? We have uh, seen the government come out with a notification talking about advancing the availability of BS6 fuel uh, in Delhi by April 2018. But what does it really mean for automakers? Uh, because the government is now really looking at uh, uh, figuring out ways to control the air pollution in Delhi. Uh, we have no other communication other than the notification that has come, which uh, basically says that the BS6 fuel will be made available in NCT region from April 2018. Uh, and uh, there is no uh, no sort of notification or any change that they're aware of in terms of uh, vehicles uh, uh, as a result of that. Uh, BS6 uh, fuel being available in NCT uh, by itself would have a directionally positive impact on emission even for BS4 vehicles. So to that extent, obviously, it's a welcome move. Um, and, and, and it should also give us confidence that uh, slowly the BS6 vehicle will become available and country will be fully ready with BS6 uh, by the time April 2020 that vehicles come in. Mr. Goenka, also talk to us about, uh, you know, in terms of uh, the auto industry, how ready are we in terms of uh, the BS6, uh, 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 BS6 vehicles, in terms of technology, cleaner fuel, uh, engines? Uh, what is the readiness that the auto industry has in terms of adopting uh, the new fuel norms? Uh, again, I'm sorry, your questions are not clear, but I'm responding uh, based on what I understood. Uh, the industry is working with April 2020 deadline uh, for um, for implementation of PS6 norms. Uh, I do not think it will be possible for uh, any major manufacturer to complete change their portfolio in April 2018 uh, for, uh, for any specific region. Uh, and uh, uh, therefore, my my guess is that the launch of PS6 vehicles will still happen in April 2020 as stipulated by government. But by itself, was a stretch timeline uh, when it was implemented, when it was announced uh, some time ago. And everyone is working uh, working uh, on that timeline and a lot of work is happening at the engine level and the vehicle level at all manufacturers. Mr. Goenko, also talk to us about uh, the impact, the wider impact now that we are seeing the government really cracking the whip uh, and ensuring that uh, we move on to, you know, uh, cleaner fuel. Uh, what is the likely impact that you would see on, on the important issue of air pollution? And uh, do you believe in terms of uh, the, uh, uh, the oil marketing companies, will they be ready uh, with a cleaner fuel or BS6 norms uh, by the set deadline, now with the preponement? Uh, the, the question was about the impact on emissions. No, I was talking about the impact on, on air pollution and talking. And uh, if you can talk to us about uh, how ready are the oil marketing companies uh, with respect to this preponement. Okay, so uh, as I said earlier, that directionally BS6 fuel, uh, even with BS4 vehicles, uh, will tend to uh, improve emission levels. So to that extent, uh, there will be positive benefit. I cannot quantify right now on what uh, that benefit would be or how much that benefit 